In this video, I'm going to show you three different AI tools that you can use to create your Google Slides. The first one is Google's very own AI companion, Gemini. It's going to create this presentation. The second tool is a presentation software called SlideSpeak, and this is going to create a presentation that looks like this. The final tool is a Google Chrome extension called Plus AI, and that's going to create this presentation. Overall, we're going to look at how each tool works, what exactly it can produce, and how much it costs. Okay, enjoy. All right, so the first method we're going to look at is actually within Google Slides itself. So we're going to use the Google AI companion, Gemini. Navigate to the slide section like I have here on your device, and then click blank presentation. From here, I'm going to X out the themes, and I'm going to go to the top right where I can see the Ask Gemini button animation. Really nice, really lovely. Uh, click on that, and that will bring up the panel for us here. So we can start prompting, we can start playing around with the AI. Two main things I think are worth covering in this video in terms of uh, Gemini and slides is the ability to create an image and the ability to create a slide based off a document. Can't yet create a full presentation based off a document, which some of the other methods we're going to look at later on in the video can but I still think it's worth showing you this. So I'm going to ask it to create a slide from, and I'm going to use the at symbol, and that's going to bring up all of my recent documents. And I'm going to use the Uber earnings uh, document that I recently uploaded. Now I'm not going to give it too many um, specific instructions. I'm just going to leave it to be quite generic. You would obviously cater this to what it is you're looking to you know, create content of. Then we're going to let the AI do its work. Okay, and here we can see the preview, basically, of the content that the AI generated me from my document. It looks pretty good in terms of the content. The design's not great, is all I'd say, um, but it's pretty cool that we can see like the sources that it came from, and then we can ask it to retry if we'd like, in terms of like recreating the slide, um, or we can insert it. So I'm gonna insert it. I think it looks a little bit bare at the moment as a slide, so maybe I'd like to add an image. So I can ask Gemini to create an image of, uh, I'm from England, so maybe we'll do uh, a black cap. Fairly related uh, to Ubers. And then we'll let the AI generate as an image. Okay, all right, that was pretty quick. Um, looks like some good options here in terms of images. Let's have a little look. Yeah, that's quite, that's quite old. Uh, interesting uh, number plate we have there, but I, I think we'll go for this one for now, and I'm gonna insert it um, into the presentation uh, and just reduce the size down. Uh, have it sit in just here and make my slide look a little bit nicer. So yeah, that's sort of Gemini in a nutshell and Google Slides, very quick overview, but I think you can see the value from it. It's certainly going to save a lot of time and it can be really good for giving you uh, a Kickstarter in terms of ideas. You can interact with the, the chatbot a lot more in terms of pulling out, like um, sort of going back and forth on ideas and concepts and things like that. But right now for pure creation terms, uh, yeah, you can create a slide and you can create an image, which is pretty cool. Still a little bit slower um, than other methods we're going to look at, but yeah, really, really uh, useful, I think. It will cost in terms of adding Gemini on top of your uh, G Suite uh, subscription, so do bear that in mind. But otherwise, yeah, I think it's pretty good, and it's just come out, so it's going to get better. Uh, so definitely a tool to keep your eye on. Okay, now the second tool that we're going to look at is actually called SlideSpeak. Yes, we are SlideSpeak, we're from SlideSpeak. You can use SlideSpeak to create a presentation with AI that then you can add into Google Slides. So really basic and easy way of doing that is navigate to the SlideSpeak app, make sure you have an account. I'm gonna to click to upload a document. For the uh, consistency, I'm gonna use the same document. So I'm gonna use the Uber, and it's called press release, and we're gonna upload that to the SlideSpeak system. Okay, so now the document has fully uploaded we're given this screen. This is where we can pull out certain bits of information from the document that are gonna be relevant in a presentation because there's a lot of pages and we probably don't want all this information necessarily. Um, so I'm just gonna ask the chatbot to summarize this document for me. So the chatbot is basically pulling out the key financial highlights that it thinks um, are quite important and other useful information. Now from here, I've got the summary. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm going to actually create a presentation just based off its information. So I'm, I'm disregarding some of the other information within a document. So I'm really sort of specifying what it is that I'd like to create. And the key thing to mention here is that this is going to create a whole presentation rather than just individual slides. So I'm going to click on create presentation and I'm going to get a chance to customize the slides. So how long do I want the document to be? Uh, three to eight slides is perfect. Uh, the tone, the amount of text, and then all these other uh, customizable options. Um, but for now, 
we're just gonna we're just gonna include this. Then the AI is gonna generate us an outline so we can sort of make sure that it's on the right path and then it's gonna cover the things that we're happy with. If there's something here you wanna change, you can just edit that uh, however you like and it will take that into account. But for now, uh, let's go ahead with this. And then we can alter the design in terms of uh, what we'd like it to look like with the background and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go for this one here, looks quite cool with the gradient. And you can also upload custom templates. So if you're a company uh, or you're doing it for work purposes, you can have your work template here. Finally, add instructions that you'd like. Uh, no worries, really. We're not going to add anything like that. We're just going to generate a presentation. Okay, so we've got our presentation. And we can have a little flick through, make sure we're happy with it all. Um, I think it looks pretty good, personally. Uh, yeah, got around like sort of nine, ten slides. Yeah, pretty good. Um, what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to download it to PowerPoint. And then once that's downloaded, I'm going to head on over to Slides, Google Slides. From here, I'm going to create a blank presentation. And I'm not going to use Gemini. Uh, I'm going to go over to File, and I'm going to Import Slides. Then I want to Upload, and I'm going to browse my downloads. And I can see here the presentation that I've just produced with Slidespeak. So I'm going to open that up, wait for it to load onto Google Slides. And here we go. I'm going to select all slides. I'm going to import them. Get rid of that slide. And here we are. We can edit everything uh, within it. We can change the title, all sorts. I think the one probably benefit of uh, Slidespeak would be its ability to produce the whole presentation rather than just individual slides. Uh, I think that's worth mentioning. So if you are looking for the AI to do all of the work for you, uh, then Slidespeak is probably a little bit better than Chairman I right now. So the final method of creating a presentation on Google Slides with AI. So just to recap, we've obviously had Gemini, the AI companion of Google that helps us. And then we produced our presentation on Slidespeak and imported that AI produced content into Google Slides. Now we're going to stick in Google Slides. So load up your Google Slides like you normally would, create a new presentation and navigate to the extensions. Now I've already got this extension installed, but you will need to uh, install it yourself. So from here, I can see, you can see the plus AI for Google Slides and Docs 2023 extension. I'm going to click on new presentation with plus AI. Okay, and here is essentially the homepage of the extension. Um, we can see a few different things like templates, new presentation, history. Uh, I'm just going to click on a random template for now. I'm going to use this template to create a presentation. And I'm going to upload the file that we have been using in the previous two examples. Okay, there we go. It's also worth mentioning that you get to choose whether to enhance or preserve uh, the uh, the text. Obviously, yeah, enhancing is going to add a lot more detail to it, whereas preserve maybe keeps it as is. I'm going to go with preserve for now. And then you can edit the instructions on the side here, but this all seems good to me. So I'm going to go ahead and generate a presentation with this template. Okay, so this is the presentation that generated for us. We get sort of like a full overview of all the slides. Uh, it's quite cool. The images seem quite cool, to be fair. Um, and then on the side, we have the panel here where we can like choose to rewrite text or insert a slide. Um, if you double click onto a slide, it'll take you back into the default Google Slides view. And then we can flip through them in a bit more detail. So yeah, there's the agenda. Uh, introduction. It comes with tips. The only thing I would say is that like, so with these tips, you do have to delete them manually if you want them off of your slide, uh, which can be quite annoying. But yeah, I get why they're there. Um, so yeah, we can choose to rewrite text. But overall, it's produced a pretty good presentation, to be honest. Um, yeah, pretty impressed with that. Uh, it's dated it and everything. And uh, yeah, covered pretty much everything that I'd want. So to be honest, if you, you, know, you could always use uh, Gemini to then spruce this up even further if you wanted. Uh, but overall, I'd say it's a pretty good extension. Um, you do have to pay for the, uh, for the privilege. That's all I would say. Uh, so please do bear that in mind. I'll add all the pricing information into the description and all the links to sort of sign up and they do offer a free trial. So it might be worth doing that. But yeah, this overall was how to use the plus AI Google slides extension to create a presentation. Okay, so overall, I think each method brings something different to the table. I think Gemini is really convenient to have the AI companion built into slides and also to be able to generate images like that on the fly is really, really helpful. 
And you can use documents. The only downside is that you can't create the full presentation in one go. You just have to do it in an individual slide basis, um, which isn't good if you want to create a presentation quickly uh, and with sort of, you know, the least amount of effort possible. And then obviously SlideSpeak, um, you can create a full presentation with that. You have to do it in the SlideSpeak app and then upload it and import the slides to Google Slides, which is very, very easy and straightforward. Um, perhaps you could argue that you aren't able to edit the SlideSpeak slides as much as you are with the other two methods. Um, but overall, I'd say if you're looking for speed and just overall, you know, taking the weight off you, then SlideSpeak is probably the best. But then we also have the Plus AI extension, which is pretty cool, pretty helpful to have as an extension of Google Slides. Um, and generate a presentation that I was pretty happy with, to be honest. And then you can obviously just tweak it within the Google Slides app. And it's all based within Google Slides, right? So you've not got to leave the, uh, the site. So I think it all depends on what it is you're looking for out of the uh, method and the tool. I think overall, uh, this is the SlideSpeak channel, so I'm going to recommend SlideSpeak, but you can't go too far wrong with all of them. Uh, and uh, yeah, all the information will be in the description in terms of pricing and in terms of further details with links to check out each tool. I try them all, in all honesty. I think it's all affordable and it's all, I think it's worth doing, it's worth checking. And um, yeah, comment which one you prefer, maybe.